It's a frigid day. Hey guys, this video is sponsored by Mark Williams. Um, man, he, he lives out in Montana. It's a little bit colder out there, I'm sure, than it is here. But man, I tell you what, he is a prayer warrior and he is going to sponsor the rest of this build. Thank you so very much, Mark Williams, and God bless you, sir. You guys probably should recognize this, right? Okay, I'm gonna use this to mount relays and whatnot too. Okay, cut it in a few pieces. Oh yeah, just like that. Oh yeah, that's remarkable. Nice fit. All right, guys, this is what I mean. Some monster circuit breakers and some really nice cutoff switch. Heavy duty, obviously. Well, I don't have all of the parts that I need, but you know what? Here's the diagram. And what I'm gonna do is take this one bite at a time. So the first thing what I want to do is try to isolate the battery tender. And I'm going to do this with a 10 amp uh, circuit breaker. And this so happens to be a 15 amp shutoff switch or a battery disconnect, but in this case, it's a tender disconnect. All right, I think I have everything figured out. Let me give you a close up here. All right, I've got the two monstrous shutoffs for the batteries. I'm gonna stick those right basically in here. I've got an 80 amp that I still don't have. Still in the mail, it's gonna go here. This one 20 will go here. And then this is for the battery tender. So I have the 10 amp here and the shutoff for the battery tender right there. I think that that is gonna work uh, marvelously. Fortunately, this little 10 amp comes with a little gasket and I'm just gonna put this gasket right over the top of this and I'm gonna use it as a template that looks pretty good. I'm just going to cut where this existing hole is. Cut that right out. Look what just arrived. I'll bet it's the missing part. There's the 80 amp. There it is, waterproof 80 amp. Ah, good. Now I think I have everything. 
and I got everything just in time for a reconfiguration. I think I'm going to go ahead and cut this down so I have a space right here because I don't really need this. I think what I want to do is put the shutoffs on a plate or not, well, not metal because, <laughs> yeah, I would just short this thing out, but uh, have this mounted here so I can click back and forth. Maybe, maybe here, here. Oh, slick. That looks slick. Oh, yes, plenty of them. Wow, I like it. I like it. So step one is complete to isolate the battery tender. And this setup is really quite easy. Um, the lead just goes into, positive lead goes in, hooks up into the circuit breaker. The 10 amp circuit breaker runs into the uh, battery shut off. And in this case, it would be just the disconnect. And then both ground and positive leads come out the end and into the equalizer. If you don't have an equalizer, you just <laughs> run that positive lead up into the 24 volt side of the battery pack and the ground to the ground. It's pretty easy. So it brings up a point, why, why are we doing this? Okay, the reason for that is because these battery tenders, they do have a blocking diode in them, which does not allow um, juice to flow back into the device. But no device is perfect. You know, this will suck energy back out of the system very, very slowly, but it will. And if that, if that blocking diode goes bad, this will, um, suck the energy right out of your batteries. It will take a while, and uh, but if you're away from shore power or you forget to plug this back in, then it could suck your batteries down to where the engine won't start, and that's not a good thing. The second part of this is this equalizer. This equalizer is not an infallible product. It could have a it could have a catastrophic dead short in it. And that is why we need to have circuit breaker protection in this so that this does not nuke off if this was to ever go bad. Because this could be, I mean, you're talking some major amperage inside of this battery box here. You don't want this to nuke off and, and uh, burn your whole doggone truck down. The last thing that I'm gonna do is make sure that there's something in between these wires so that there's no rubbing that goes on. Once I am happy with all of that. All right, that looks nice right about there. Relays came in. Well, I don't want to do that. Uh, well, it looks like if I grab it from here, ah, there we go. If you grab it like this, <laughs> that is what's going to start the truck. Of course, I'm sure it will probably just quit after you release because the uh, switch is in the off position. But it sure still, it fired up, didn't it? Just gonna see if a riv nut will work in this. I hope that it does. Works.
All right, time to wire this thing up. But you know what? Here's the trick. Get yourself some stainless steel uh, star washers that are uh, 316 or 808. Thanks to Mark, I have a pro tip for you. Put a star stainless steel washer below and also above the nut of the stack of connectors that you're using and stack your connectors from biggest to smallest like a Christmas tree on the post. And that will help maintain your DC power flow a whole lot better. Time to update you on some of the progress. So the 24 volt you can see is going to the aux side of the 80 amp uh, circuit breaker and the 12 volt is going to the aux side of the 120 amp circuit breaker. So no power has been hooked up yet to the uh, battery equalizer. I'm going to have to save that for another day because I'm at the limit of this video and the weatherman says it's going to start raining. So next time I'll be finishing up this battery project and I'll be putting in the battery disconnects and having all of this stuff buttoned back up. You know, if there's one thing that's great about YouTube is if you really want to know how to do these kinds of projects, tell you what, guys, I would really love it if you'd make some comments because a lot of people read those and figure out the rest of the story. So please make sure to comment. And also, while you're here, you might as well go ahead and like the video too. Thanks so much. You guys make sure to tune in for the finish of this project next time. Until then, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe out there, and God bless.